Have you ever wondered what the largest explosion in history was? It wasn't a volcanic eruption, an earthquake, or even a human-made bomb. It was an event so strange and mysterious that it has never been explained. In June of 1908, over 80 million trees were flattened in a matter of seconds near the Tunguska River in Siberia. The explosion was so powerful that it could have leveled an entire city. But when scientists arrived at the site, they found no crater and no trace of a disaster. At first they thought it might have been a meteor or a comet. But as these space rocks hurtle through the atmosphere, they usually leave behind a tail of ice and dust and there was no sign of that here. The only evidence of the explosion was the damage to the trees. They were all knocked over as if by a giant invisible hand. And that's when the theory started to take off. Some believed it was a space rock that exploded mid-air, perhaps a wayward asteroid or a piece of a shattered comet. Others thought it might have been a secret experiment gone wrong, like a prototype for a new type of weapon. But who was behind it and why have they never come forward? There are even more outlandish theories. Some believe it was an alien ship that exploded over Siberia, perhaps due to mechanical failure or a pilot error. What if the aliens had been on a mission of peace and this was their first contact with Earth? But then why didn't they leave any records behind? The truth is we may never know what caused the Tunguska event. Over 100 years later it remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of modern science. But there is one thing we do know. In the days before satellites and global news networks, it would have been easy for the disaster to be ignored or forgotten. But thankfully, one man saw the need to preserve this mystery. In 1927, a scientist named Leonid Kulik discovered the site of the Tunguska explosion. He was the first to realize that the damage to the trees was not random. It was all caused by a single event that had happened in the sky above. Sadly, he died believing that the event was a meteor. But today, we know that's not the case. There was no space rock, no crater, and no witnesses. The only thing we have are the trees, millions of them, all knocked over in a single instant. What do you think caused the explosion? A space rock, a secret weapon or something else entirely? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching.